What's up guys, Yankee Join This Town here, and it is time to preview the 2011 New York Yankees. Um, it seemed like I was just in front of this camera back in October talking about, you know, the Yankees losing to the Rangers in the ALCS, their bid to, uh, you know, repeat as uh, World Series champions came up short, uh, lost in six games, but, you know, the winter flew by like that, and spring training has flown by, and now, you know, it's just six days away now. It's March 25th before the Yankees open up in the Bronx again, you know, in Yankee Stadium, and a whole other season gets underway. And um, I got to tell you, I'm really freaking excited. It's, 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 it's New Year's for, you know, baseball fans. So, really. anyway, the 2011 New York Yankees, to be honest... And this is not being, this is kind of being optimistic, but also being realistic. The Yankees can win the World Series this year. They really can. People don't understand how good this team is. I mean, people made it seem like since they didn't get Cliff Lee, now they're just a crappy team. They're not at all. They are really talented, have amazing players on this team, amazing all stars. You know, their pitching is strong, stronger than most people think. Um, I'm going to tell you guys why I think that. And, you know, um, this team can definitely go neck and neck with the Red Sox all year. And, um, you know, um, it's it's going to be a really close race, closer than most people are thinking. I think the Yankees are going to shock a lot of people this year. So, you know, first off, um, let's talk about who they got over the winter, the, the notable additions. Um, so they they signed um, – they signed uh, – they signed Russell Martin, of course, to, uh, to be the Yankees' everyday catcher. Uh, okay signing, you know, um, he's not an amazing catcher, but he's a good defensive catcher. He'll hit 8, 10 home runs a year, bat around to 70. Not bad for a catcher. You know, we're not used to seeing those type of numbers with Posada always being behind the plate, but he's moved to DH now. Um, will be will be a full-time DH. He's not going to be the backup. Um you know, the Yankees also signed uh, this guy named Rafael Soriano. I don't know if you guys heard of him. The AL saves leader from 2010 with the Rays. I'm sure everyone in the AL East fans of the AL East teams remember him. You know, he gave the Yankees and every other team a hard time. 45 saves. Um, and he was brought in to be the setup guy. You know, three years, $30 million deal. Uh, great signing. Um, and then the Yankees also made some other minor new moves like signing Bartolo Colon, uh, Freddie Garcia, Kevin Millwood, Mark Pryor, um, all, you know, former great pitchers that are kind of past their prime, but still can, uh, you know, produce for the Yankees in 2011. So, you know, um, let's just talk about the pitching first, because that's what everyone's really been talking about, that that's their Achilles heel. That's the reason they ultimately won't be able to win the World Series next this year. But you know what? That's total bullcrap, to be honest. I mean, this is something that's going to blow your mind right now. Ready? Ready to get blown your mind away. Okay, maybe you won't get blown away, but it'll it'll make you guys definitely feel more optimistic about the Yankees' chances in 2011. So, the Yankees' 2009 World Series Championship rotation, here it is right now, the regular season stats. CC had, I think, 19 wins. AJ had 13. Pettit had 14. Jabba had 9. When Jabba was a starter, and God, he was horrible. And then the fifth starter was varying from Sergio Mitre, Ching Ming Wong, Phil Hughes, uh, and Sergio Mitre was the starter down the stretch, and he went three and three. Um, and yeah, that's the Yankees' World Championship rotation. You know, if if the Yankees didn't win the World Series, people would say, "Oh, what a horrible rotation that is," or "Oh, it's nowhere near as good as a World Series caliber." But didn't it get the job done? You bet. AL East title, 103 wins, world championship. I mean, you know, you you can't say that the 2011 rotation can do just as good as they did, if not better. CC is win 19 or 20 again. AJ, I think, is going to have a great bounce back year, win 15 or 16. I think Hughes, he won 18 last year. Even if he goes down a little bit, maybe he'll win around 15 or 16 as well. Um, Ivan Nova can maybe win 10, you know, um, Bearing any injuries because he, it, you know, he looks he looked very strong in spring training. See if he can carry that into the regular season. And fifth starter is probably going to be varying throughout the season because 
Bartolo Colon probably is going to be the fifth starter come opening day, but guarantee you he's just going to he's going to break down and he is just he, he's not going to make it past June I think and guys like Kevin Miller will Kevin Millwood or Freddie Garcia are, are going to step in to, um, you know, fill in the void. And I think they'll do okay, you know. Fifth starters are never supposed to be sparkling, you know. Um, and that's not a bad rotation. And those are realistic numbers. I, I really think Burnett can win 15. I think Hughes can win at least 15. Um, he won 18 last year, and he actually struggled a, little, a lot during the course of the season. Uh, not during the course of the season, but in the middle of it. And... You know, um, this team is, is uh, this, this rotation is not as bad as people think. Um, you look at the Red Sox rotation, they have, they have um, their back end of the rotation is not strong either, and John Lackey and Daisuke Matsuzaka. So, I mean, I don't know what the Red Sox are saying, saying they have, they have such a great rotation, because the Yankees rotation is not that much worse than them, if not right on par with them. Um, you know, they're both, and the, one, the great thing about this team is you don't need a rotation like the Phillies. Every one of those starters likely can give you six innings a night on a good, you know, on most days. And that's all the Yankees need. Give Have the Yankees offense score a couple runs. You bring in David Robertson, who's been a shutdown reliever in the seventh. Rafael Soriano in the eighth. And then uh, this guy named Mariano Rivera in the ninth. I don't know if you've heard of him or not. Kind of the greatest closer of all time, you know. Um, so, you know, I, nothing special, but, I mean, really, this bull, this bullpen is so good. Best bullpen in the majors, no doubt about it, um, at least for the 8th and ninth, and hell, the 7th. David Robinson has evolved into a very good reliever, um, minus his Game 3 meltdown in the ALCS, but, you know, who really gave a crap? He wasn't even wearing the right jersey, if you guys can remember. Um, oh, well, he was just wearing, like, the wrong number, um text or whatever, I don't know, but it was weird, um, you know, and then we go over to the offense, and the offense has been something that's always been strong, and you know what's funny, it wasn't strong last year, but the Yankees still scored the most runs in the majors, every player in that lineup, Jeter, A-Rod, Teixeira, they all had down years, except for Robinson Cano, who had an MVP type year, should have won the MVP in my mind, and they all underperformed, besides Cano, and they still scored the most runs in the majors. I'm sure a lot of them are going to be bouncing back this year. If Jeter bounces back, you know, that's great. I think Deshera is going to bounce back. He really improved his... He worked on a swing during the course of the season, and he got he got, he got got so much better. He's now fully healed. He had, like, a broken toe, bro, broken, broken arm. You know, he was playing so, um, you know, so injured. It was fitting that he went out with an injury in the playoffs, and... Um, a everyone's saying that, you know, A-Rod lost like 10 pounds, um, he's hitting the ball so great in spring training, uh, I really expect him to have an MVP year, and I know, yes, he's 35 or 36, but so what, he is still Alex Rodriguez, he's still a legend, and I think he's gonna be, I think he's gonna have a great year, hit around 40 home runs, and this lineup is still strong, and that's gonna be one of the key reasons the Yankees are going to, in my mind, make the playoffs, and, um, you know, the Yankees team is so much better than people are giving them credit for, I really like this team so much, you know, I mean, not as confident as it was going into 2010 or 2009, but definitely right up there, and I expect this team to be right there at the end with the Red Sox, win around 95, 96, 97 games, and I expect them to make the playoffs, and uh, from then on, you know, we'll worry about that stuff in October, um, if it comes to that, so, you know, that's it, guys, what do you guys think about the 2011 Yankees, honestly, I am freaking pumped for the season, I'm pumped for opening day, I just cannot wait, I think this team's gonna kick some ass this year, really gonna make you guys look like idiots for saying they have no chance, and I think the Yankees, at the end, will definitely have a good chance to bring home number 28, and hopefully, that's going to happen. So I'll see you guys later. Go Yankees. And it's time to get number 28.